To activate your new digital voice home phone service, you'll need to install the enclosed device, commonly called an ATA or analog telephone adapter. This device allows you to continue to use your existing analog phone with your new service. Installation is easy. Once complete, you'll be ready to make and receive calls using your new service. Included in the box are an ATA device, an ethernet cable, and a power adapter. Installing the ATA device requires you to connect the device to your existing internet router. This could be the router supplied by your internet service provider or a router purchased by you that you use to connect to your internet service provider. Step number one, unplug your internet router from the power outlet. Insert one end of the ethernet cable into the jack marked internet on the back of the ATA device. Step number two, plug the other end of the ethernet cable into the available LAN port on the router, usually found on the back of the router. Plug your router in and wait at least 60 seconds for the router to finish starting up. Step number three, plug the router end of the supplied power adapter into the back of the ATA and plug the other end into an AC outlet. Note, your system will start initializing upon plugging it in. It is important that you do not disconnect power from the unit during this process. On the front panel, the power indicator light will turn green. The internet indicator light will turn green once the device connects to the internet. The link act indicator light will blink while your system is initializing and will remain blinking depending on network activity. The unit may reset at least once during initial setup. This is normal. If the internet and phone indicators begin blinking together, the device is receiving new software. Do not power off the unit. Disconnecting power while these lights remain blinking could render the device unusable. This initial setup could take up to 10 minutes. Once the service connects, the phone indicator light will turn a solid green. It will stop blinking, indicating the unit is ready to use. Step number four, plug your existing analog phone into the phone port on the ATA device using its existing analog cable. Once you receive a dial tone, you are ready to begin making and receiving calls. 